believe we are talking about March plans. Where has the year gone? Seriously. Oh, um, okay. So today we're talking about all the things that I'm going to be making in March. I'm going to get the bad news out of the way first. <laughs> I have three things that I am making that I cannot tell you anything about. And I'm really sorry about that. It's just the name of the game. It is for the Style Maker Fabrics Spring Style Tour. My date is like the 23rd, I think. I am making three things from the new collection. So I don't have the fabric, I don't have the patterns, but I have it picked out. It's unlike anything I've ever made for their tour. I just, I don't know, I think I was inspired by being out in Seattle. I think I was kind of feeling like 2020, you know, I want to get out of my comfort zone, take risks. So I'm eager, excited, scared. I just hope it turns out well, you know, I hope it turns out in my mind. I don't know. We'll see. But there will be lots more information about it. I'll be posting teasers and behind the scenes and all of that on Instagram. So if you're not already following me, um, go follow me on Instagram. I'm at inside the hem. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, um, here are the things I do have to tell you about. Uh, first things first, so my style. This month you can choose between the Willa Best and the Liesl & Co. Gelato blouse or dress. So I have had this silk in my stash for some time now. Um, it's beautiful. It is expensive. Uh, I think I got it from Fabrics and Fabrics. In New York City on one of my trips there um, it's beautiful but I only have a yard of it and it was only ever going to be a top so I'm hoping 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 I have enough to make the um, gelato because the gelato is a bodice plus a little peplum thing so we'll see I'm gonna try and make it work because this is just so springy and so beautiful and I think it would look really really great and who doesn't want a silk top so this is the plan. I have to get the pattern printed. I'm going to run out to my little printer guy um, that does the large format printing for me. Um, like mm, today. <laughs> we'll see if I can get it done today. Um, and then I'll be able to like do some pattern testers and see if I can if I can make it work. It's also like a loose fitting. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, next up because it is the heaviest. Burnside bibs. Okay, so when we did the design the look on Instagram, this was one of the patterns. This and the Sew so Over It Vintage Shirt Dress. The Vintage Shirt Dress won, and a lot of people commented that they voted on the shirt dress because they thought that's what I would want to make the most, which kind of wasn't the point. Next year will be a lot more clear about what you should vote for. I truly, truly wanted to make the Burnside bibs. I know that sounds weird because I'm not like a pants loving person, but do you see how fitting on this in the waistband is so generous, so easy. You just cinch in that waist and you've got a fitted waist. I've seen these on different kinds of body types and it looks really good on people with pair figures. So because I wanted to make them, I bought the pattern and I decided it might be fun to do something with like a St. Patrick's Day theme, but also uh, still very, very wearable. So I got green. <laughs> I think green is like the new navy. At least that's what I'm gonna be putting out into the world. I have so many navy things. I've got, you know, denim obviously, and you know, navy dresses and all that. And I just wanted something unique and different that I could still wear with all the same clothes uh, that you wear navy with like green is just as much of a neutral as navy is obviously you can wear white you can wear gray you can wear like stripes with it you can wear you know all kinds of different things so the shirt the t-shirt that I wear underneath it I think I could keep swapping out and it would still be great um but the fabric is from style maker fabrics I think it's a linen rayon blend I'll have it in the description box so that you guys can check it out um, this was selling like hotcakes at, 
uh, so my style. They have it in like 17 colors or something like that. Um, and it feels really, really good. Let me show you this drape so you can see what it would be like. Cause the, you know, the burn side, because it is so gathered at the waist, you can't pick a traditional bottom weight fabric. It will just be too stiff. Um, but this has some beautiful, beautiful drape to it. Um, and I think will lay really beautifully, um, from the leg, you know, as pants, especially springy pants, you know, you want that kind of easy breezy kind of feel. So Burnside bibs and green linen. Are you guys thinking I'm nuts? Um, just wait, okay? Just wait. Um, lastly on the list, I have this fun little project, and I talked about this a little bit in my makes um, video, but this was almost like a massive disaster. So I pulled this out of my works in progress collection, and I'm like, oh great, it's a knit, it's easy, I've already got white serger thread in, like, let's knock this out. And so I'm sewing along, right? I get the whole front done, and that's how they have you do it. the whole front, the whole back, and then you do the side seams. And so I attach the front skirt, and then I go to attach the back of the skirt. And I'm like, um, I don't have a back of the skirt cut out and I don't have any more of this fabric. It was already cut from scraps as it was, which is why there's like the pattern blocking. I'm screwed, like I can't finish this. Like it would look so weird to have like a completely different fabric on the back of this dress. So I go online, I got it from Cali Fabric, so I go there first, nowhere. I did find the listing, but of course it said it was sold out. So I look at all the usual places for double brush Ponte and I'm not finding it anywhere. I do a Google image search. I, I'm doing it all. Um, I even emailed or DM'd Callie and was like, any chance you got any of this? Like, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> um, and I, to no avail, they didn't even reply, <laughs> which I don't blame them. But I was like, okay, last stitch effort, Hail Mary before I completely toss this. Let me put it on Instagram stories and see if any of my followers have it. And would you believe someone replied and said, yes, I have that fabric. How much do you want? And so she sent it to me <laughs> and it arrived while I was at Sew Expo. Uh, it's exactly what it needed to be. I've pre-washed it. Now I can cut out my skirt and should be good to go. Um, so that's really exciting that I'm going to be able to save this dress. So I'm going to finish this in, um, in March and I'll be able to, it's not super springy, but I just need to get through the work in progress bin. The last thing I've talked to you a little bit about already is my trench coat. I got the buttonholes sewn, but I haven't cut them open because I'm afraid. Um, but this has to get done. I got the belt done here's the belt. Um, literally all I have left are to cut these open and sew on the actual buttons and I will be done. So I've got to just do it, go for it, finish it and be done and say it was the best that I could possibly have done given the skill set that I have now, which I am totally fine with. Um, so I'll be excited to have it done. I think March is a really great month for trench coats. Um, you know, the weather, the temperature and all of that, it would be really great to have this. So that is it. Those are my plans for March. Um, Daylight Savings is starting, which I'm so excited about. I really hate not being on Daylight Savings. I, I don't know. It's the sunlight hours and all that. I'm excited for all that to be back. I will be a lot more productive now, which is really exciting. You may be able to tell like my energy starts to change a little bit. Like I get a little bit more poppy than I normally am. <laughs> um, so I really believe in all of that seasonal type of stuff. Um, but yeah, spring is here and I'm excited for it because that means almost summer is here and warmer weather and less rain and all of that kind of stuff. So um, that is exciting and inspiring and uh, prompting me to just want to get in the sewing room and sew all the things. Uh, so let me know what you are planning to make in March. If you're going to be doing um, anything special, maybe you have a wedding, maybe 
Easter, do people like sew for Easter? Is Easter even in March? I'm sorry, I'm a bad Christian. Um, anyways, let me know in the comments section what you're gonna be sewing for March. I love to see other people's ideas, just like you like to see mine, I like to see yours. So comment and let me know. Otherwise, that's gonna do it for me today. I will be back very, very soon with a lot of really fun content. Bye.